Well, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing actually in integrative medicine to move the subject forward. And we've recently um, activated a, a foundation here in California. It's called the American Holistic Veterinary Medical Association Foundation. That's the AHVMA Foundation. And the purpose of the foundation is actually threefold. First, to greatly improve the availability and the amount of research that's done on holistic and, and integrative um, therapies for animals. Two, to improve the availability of improved education uh, in these subjects. And three, to provide scholarship to students who are interested in pursuing um, further study and, uh, and careers in the field of integrative and alternative medicine, uh, particularly integrative alternative veterinary medicine. Um, I'm the co-director, along with a, a brilliant homeopath named Dr. Larry Bernstein. Uh, we have a wonderful board of directors, um, and you can learn more about that at our website, which is www.foundation.ahvma.org. Why we need to do this is because funding for research, in most instances, comes from pharmaceutical companies. And pharmaceutical companies are not evil beings. Uh, we are not fighting pharmaceutical companies. We're not here as an alternative to them. In fact, we're just trying to augment this medical information which is lacking and in research which is not done. So our goal for the foundation is to have several million dollars in sustainable grants that we can uh, give to interested researchers to look at this. As an example, we're working with some people who want to do research on the effect of homeopathic remedies on stem cells. Recent research at Brown University has shown that uh, homeopathic dilutions activate the genes directly, and we can actually measure that now. It's so amazing that we have technology that now lets us watch genes activate and protein metabolize and uh, occur and, and documenting those things. So it's now been documented that homeopathic dilutions of substances directly activate the gene and the DNA and change the way the DNA operates. And we use stem cell stimulating substances in our practices all the time, but we don't have sufficient evidence to say to people who don't do this work, this works. Even though we give it to patients and see them improve, and we theorize that it's through stem cells, we don't know that in fact that's how it's working. If we could change our knowledge base about stem cells, we could change the way we treat geriatric patients, both human and animal patients. So this is a fascinating field for geriatrics and for oncology, and for science in general. So um, to do this study, we just worked with one of the large medical schools. To do the study that we'd like to do costs between $100,000 and $175,000. So most of us don't have $175,000 in our pockets. So to raise that on an individual basis for each study that we're trying to do is a particularly onerous task. You know, the way this is supposed to work, the way that it worked during the Renaissance, where scientists were supported by people who are interested in advancing knowledge. And actually, Leonardo da Vinci actually said that a good man seeks knowledge. And we update that to make it contemporary to say that a good person seeks knowledge. And that's what we're trying to do at the foundation. Um, and to speed that up, in the Renaissance, we had wealthy people who had money that picked artists and scientists and they gave them stipends and they supported their research. And we have that going on now, but we don't really have it going on for alternative medicine. Even though we have a lot of extremely wealthy people who are, who are proponents of alternative medicine, nobody's really confronted where we get the research and how we get the information. The foundation uh, funded a research project at Colorado State University looking at uh, peppermint extract and its effect on the gastrointestinal function in dogs. And we had a positive outcome from that. And Dr. David Tweet, who's a researcher there, benefited from a grant from our present foundation. But sadly, um, the same government crisis that wiped out the banks wiped out our uh, funding because the, the uh, foundation actually had its funds in what we thought was a very stable place, which was Lehman mm -hmm. Brothers. And that was the one that they didn't bail out. So we lost a tremendous amount of, uh, of, of funding in that particular incident. So that forced us to really, really re-evaluate what we're doing and, and re-evaluate and restructure our organization. And so we're coming back now with a wider, uh, more diverse uh, set of funding and we're hoping to raise the money faster and to do this work in, in, a, in a broader way. And instead of just working in a quiet small circle, we're actually hoping to go to larger numbers of people. You know, we, we'd like $10 million. And so our present leadership is dedicated to doing that. And if you feel as hot about getting better research available, better treatments available for your pets, in this integrated field, if you'd like to support integrative medicine, please consider us sending your donations for the year. 
if you've really been the benefit of an integrative or holistic uh, practice, either for yourself or your animals, but particularly for your animals, feel free to write up that success story and send it to us at the foundation. Um, we have a section on our website called Stories, and if you'll send us the story and uh, a letter from your veterinarian that testifies to the accuracy of the story and a picture of your pet, it will be considered to be put up on the website. Um, the website is www.foundation.ahvma.org. So, here's to better health. Have a great day.